Thanks, Dan Williams. I'm Bill O'Reilly in the Miller Time segment tonight. Lots of controversy. So let's get right to the sage of Southern California. He joins us from Santa Barbara. All right, Miller, you watched my shootout with Combs last night. And you say? Billy, actually, you know, to be truthful, I don't watch the Combs segment because I find him to be an obstinate contrarian. I think he's an underinformed by a third Obama groupie. I think he goes on and on, drones with the Democratic talking points to the point where I sometimes think he makes parrots look like improv artists. And on a weekly basis, you seem inordinately palsy wowsy with him. So I don't watch. Why? Did I miss something? <laughs> the larger point of it is I'm palsy wowsy with everybody. You know me, um, Mr. Wowsy. Um, Listen, the larger, I obviously the larger watched point, it today. Though, the larger point is something that you've talked about quite some time on this program. We're not getting the truth, Miller. We're not being told the truth about what's well, happening. You're, you're coming, Bill, you're coming more to that now. And listen, you're going to go through an awkward adjustment here because you've always told me you think the president's a good man who uh, is making decisions that you just uh, don't, you know, that uh, he, he really believes this, you've told me. I've said I think he has socialist leanings. You said no, he doesn't. He, he doesn't believe in redistribution of property. There's a lot of things. You're coming to it now. You're seeing where I was around, you know, Hannity was there years ago. I was there a year ago. You're just starting to see that this guy's either not as nice as you think or either not as smart as you think. And that's a weird place to be. I do know this about the Holmes thing, and obviously I watched it when I heard this. It was one of my topics today. I don't think you can give the factually unarmed the moral high ground in a firefight because he's going to use his dearth of a response to insinuate that it was your brusque manner, your loudness. Yeah, I, I know, but I to get everybody's I, attention. I, I, but, but I think you're making one mistake in the sense that people who do analysis based on ideology can say whatever they want to say. He's a socialist. He's a Muslim. He's a uh, he place for the San Francisco 49ers. They can say whatever they want to say. All right. I have to do my analysis based oh, on I facts. I do, too, Bill. I do, too. Right. I do, too. To so, be fair. so when I That's see my analysis, and, and what has I'm changed, not doing that. no, 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 I know no. What, what has changed mm -hmm. in my presentation. What has changed, Miller, is that this specific thing is so bad, so off the chart and so indefensible, this fiscal mess and the way he's handling it, that I have to go after him for the good of the nation. I, well, fair enough, Bill. That's your mission statement. I, uh, I, I'm saying the moment he became the nominee and said he would, uh, you know, take public funding, and he didn't, I was kind of at the liar thing right there. So you th a okay. long time ago. Well, you're, you're, more, you're more perspicacious than I am, Miller, and you tell me that all the time. Well, so. Billy, I, I, want, I don't know how real we should be with you here. It, no, you know, be as I real. No, that, the uh, folks want to know what you think. You go right ahead, man. Ah, that's, listen, oh, I, I don't think, like I said, I, I'll leave it at, I don't believe Obama is as nice as he's rumored to be or as smart as he's rumored to be, and everybody will come to that in their own time. All right, and talking about smart and nice, Dennis Rodman, huh? I mean, you know, what can you say? Well, listen, you, you know, the, I hate to say it, but that wasn't very nice of Rodman because I'm convinced that his visit to North Korea is what killed Chavez out of jealousy. He <laughs> broke his heart. And listen, Rodman's not the first guy to go over there. Carter in 1994 got played like this. I don't like it when Dennis says that we have 200,000 people like in internment camps. The most we've ever had was under the quintessential liberal FDR. We did put 110 Japanese, 110,000 Japanese Americans in internment camps but not anymore. But yes, FDR did do that. And I find it funny that Stephanopoulos would brace him like he was Oriana Falaci. I remember when Barack Obama said he had to be an adherent to his Islam faith. And Stephanopoulos tackled him to correct him to the Christian thing. Let's face facts. Dennis Rodman has drank so much he can't get paid anymore even over here to sit next to Julie Newmar on the Batmobile. He's got to go over to Pyongyang and figure it out there. <laughs> and my theory is he should go back back there, dressed up in the wedding dress, marry the kid, become the first lady in North Korea, and then refuse to put out unless the kid disarms. Case solved. Right there. <laughs> that, 
<laughs> That's a frightening scenario, Miller. You know, well, I mean, I got a lot of Miller, images a, floating around in my mind right now. And yes, all but I do, I do believe there's a plan there. Much like giving the Palestinians the casinos, it seemed to have chilled out the Native Americans. Why don't we send him over there and let Rodman become the first lady in North Korea? <laughs> we can save the world. Ow. <laughs> What about, are you frightened now of the, uh, all the cutbacks? The kids can't go to the White House now? I, I, is no, this, no, no. You're not, you're Listen, not. the moment they made uh, Biden first in line to succeed Obama, they effectively made me unscarable, all right? The <laughs> press is such lapdogs at this point. They had to make Caesar Milan press secretary when they take the kid who's in there now back to the planet Biesia. On the same day we give Morsi and those freaks in the Muslim Brotherhood $250 million, I get a call from a veteran's dad on my radio show telling me that they've cut back on his kid's tuition when he gets out of the service. We're giving Egypt money. Can we start there? Can we not give Egypt money before we start cutting rungs off firemen's ladders? Come on! Best line of the week, Miller. Caesar Milan should be the press secretary, the dog whisperer. <laughs> I'm nominating him. And Miller...